chashu sioba combo with the hakka noodles. I think I'm gonna start with sioba first. Let me try it with the noodles. Mmm. Mmm. With the minced meat and sambal. It just makes me happy. What's up you guys? Key Leonche here. Today is a very special day. We're gonna go to Old Airport Food Center, which is one of the classic old school and famous hawker centers here in Singapore. We're going there specifically for the roast paradise and they specialize in roast meat like siobak, roast pork, and cha siu or barbecue pork. They make everything the traditional style and KL style specifically using fatty cuts of pork. That's why I'm so excited to try. So we're gonna watch them make everything from scratch. Let's go, I can't wait. Hi, my name is Randall. I'm uh, 31 this year. Okay, we have a store at Old Airport Road called Rose Paradise, specialized in roast meat, char siu, and roast pork. Basically, the process right for the char siu and roast pork, we have a polo drum inside our store. We roast the char siu for about four hours in heavily intense heat, about 400 degrees. Okay, then we also have roast pork also. We make it hot. So the process starts at about 6:30 to about 10:30. Four hours process. During the process, we'll do other things. You know, we'll keep marinate the sauce to make the the char siu sticky and more caramelized. Quite enjoyable for our patrons to eat. On top of that, we got a roast pork. We make it crispy in the drum. When people eat it, they have, they have a combination of both meat, char siu and roast pork. They get a, a sweet and a savory uh, feeling. So uh, come and visit us. We are at Old Airport Road. Our store number is uh, 01121. We open daily except Mondays we are off. Tuesday to Friday is uh, 11 to 6.45. Okay, Saturday and Sundays 11 to 5 or so. Uh, do catch us at here. Yeah, thank you. So we just arrived here at Old Airport Food Center. It's one of the iconic, classic, old school and there's a lot of different kinds of famous hawker stalls here but I'm here specifically for roast meat and we're gonna be able to see how they cook the meat in a few. Let's go! We're now doing the roast pork pork so inside we're making it hot. Okay. As you all come near, you all can see, see the inside. It's very hot. You see the fumes, all oh, very hot. Everything is the roast pork. Ah. How long is this gonna roast? This one is going to be about uh, maybe uh, yeah, 10 to 15 minutes. So we make the, the skin a bit crispy. The fire must be have a medium fire. Oh, not so big, if not the skin will become black. Okay, so I'm going to take out the, the lid. Because it's, uh, it's very hot. So I just take a cook off because it's, uh, the skin is very hot. Okay, so the hot skin is very hot. The roast pork will come up. Wow. Normally, we'll use a small knife. You have to wash it first. We're going to do the scraping part. We do it just to ensure that's the maximum crispiness. Oh. So, if you see, can you see the, that sound? Uh, that's yeah. the, that is, uh, we are scratching the, the roast pork to ensure that's the maximum crispiness. You know, you can see. Okay. Uh, we'll hang the thing. Okay, just to ensure. You know, it's really crispy. When we let it cool down, right? You don't cut it first because if let's say you cut it when it's too hot, the skin will crack. Mm -hmm. So we give it a while to cool down. Then after it, we will slowly cut it. You know, then people can enjoy the full flavor of it. So now I'm going to marinate the chashu. So this is the color. After four hours, right, this is what we get. So this is before four hours. This is after four hours. So now I'm going to do the process. Okay, so we can just, uh, yeah. What's in the marinade? It's a secret recipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many times depends on you. Lah. Okay, it depends on you how many times you want. But some people say, um, and we also believe that the more times we do it, right, the more caramelized it becomes. The sweetness all will be there. Okay, so you see, there's a lot of sauce, you know, the essence all is inside. Okay, so we're gonna make it hot. Okay, so you, you put inside, you see. Yeah, okay, like. We let it cook for a while, not very long. About maybe a few minutes, yeah. So of course when we coat the sauce, right, we don't need the fire to be very big. There's a bit of heat inside. 
you know, maybe about medium fire. So I'll, all our effort to go to waste after four or five hours of roasting, <laughs> right? Alright, so the roast pork and the char siu is already cooked. We're gonna do the plating right now. I can't wait, I'm so hungry. Can't wait. So we have here a mountain, a mountain of rice with tons of sioba or roast pork on my left and here on my right we have a mountain of hakka noodles. So the noodles kind of looks like mipo, mostly used in bachomi. It's flat and kind of curly, topped with the minced pork. This is their version of hakka noodles, so it always goes with that. It's like a combo. And then it's topped with tons of caramelized char siu or barbecue pork. Look at the amount of food in front of me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish this. Most likely I won't. I'm gonna share this with the team later. I'm gonna start with the soup. So they have cabbage soup on the side to go with their meats. Let me try the soup first while it's hot. very light I think it's gonna go well there's like contrast to the savory meats that we're gonna have so I'm gonna start with chasu sioba combo with the hakka noodles I think I'm gonna start with sioba first look at that fatty piece with the crackly crispy skin jiggly I'm gonna take a bite as is sioba oh my god the perfect ratio of the meat and the fat with a crispy layer of skin and then a touch of salt at the end this is perfectly seasoned it melts in your mouth super duper good let me try it with the noodles looks so perfectly cooked and bouncy QQ let's try it mm. Mm. wow don't be deceived by its plain appearance. It is drenched in some kind of maybe lard oil. It is super duper flavorful with a touch of heat at the end. I didn't expect anything from this noodle. Mmm. Mmm. And the texture, perfectly cooked. It's very springy, bouncy, QQ, perfect. Now I'm gonna try the chasu. Look at that chasu glistening. Look at that. Perfectly caramelized from the charcoal fire. Cooked for four hours. That is the KL style chasu. This stall is specifically owned by Kai and Randall. They came up with this concept of KL style chasu, which is kind of unique and very rare because here in Singapore, when you get chasu, it's mostly lean. Here at Roast Paradise, this is what you will get. Very beautiful beautiful cut of fatty pork glistening it's got the perfect ratio of meat to fat so excited to dig in cheers mm. 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 wow you taste that sweetness from the marinade without being too overwhelming because some chashu can be overwhelmingly sweet but this one is just perfect perfectly charred perfectly seasoned well marinated tender and juicy meat i'm gonna have it again with the noodles this is so good mm. i cannot get over with that perfectly cooked noodles it just complements the meats very well okay let's try the roast pork with the minced meat and sambal mm. it just makes me happy I'm in my happy place right now I'm gonna try the one with chashu and sambal mm. wow 
amazing, amazing, amazing. Incredible. These two combination, you have the salty, savory, crispy texture from the sioba. Glistening. Fat is glistening. And then here on my right, you get the sweet marinade and soft, tender meat with the perfect caramelization. This is like the perfect combination meat combo that you can get. If you guys want to try this, come here at Old Airport Food Center and look for Roast Paradise. Trust me guys, I highly recommend this. During this COVID season, you can try to queue and tapau for yourselves and you can enjoy it at home. You can opt for combinations with either rice or either with noodles, just yoba or just chasu or mix of both. You can get it with the uh, sambal as well. And then there's the cabbage soup. If you just want the meat, I think that they can serve you per gram. So yeah, that's the entire review of this haul for today here at Old Airport Food Center. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you want to see more of this type of content here in Singapore. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye from Singapore.